Right, good morning you lovely lot. Um, it's a little bit later than usual. Um, I'm actually recording this um, in different orders, so you're gonna see me cleaning uh, today. Like I needed to sort out my main office room and my spare room. <clears throat> but I've, I've done that, so I'm, I'm now down here recording this, so it's why I probably look a bit sweaty and everything. Um, so uh, it was a little bit of a slow day for sales yesterday, but Oh, sorry. Ooh, no. It wouldn't be a damn video without a burp. Um, yeah, sorry. So, uh, yeah, it was a pretty pretty slow day yesterday. Um, I had one vintage sale go out, actually, which uh, let's... Um, but it came through not long before I had to go and pick my little one up. So I just decided to send it yesterday. Uh, it would have gone today normally. Um, no, where's it gone? Do you know the thing that really annoys me with Vinted is it like, unlike eBay and Depop, it doesn't give you a, like a sold section, or if it does, I don't know where it is. So if it does, if anyone wants to um, actually tell me, then uh, that'd be great. But um, okay, so I'll flip you around and I'll show you what sold um, yesterday and overnight and stuff. So uh, this was the Vinted one. Um, I picked these up from Boot Sale a few weeks ago. Um, been waiting ages to clean them but uh yeah sold for i had them up for 29.99 i think it was and they made me an offer 25 and i see you have to ignore this because that's basically what they paid but uh yeah so 25 pound um what's this uh why is it showing me it like that strange uh sold this uh man united football shirt it's just a kid's one sold 14.99 with uh 399 postage uh, yeah, there's nothing amazing. Um, kids football shirts do sell. They don't sell for as well as um, adult ones, but I was picking these up for a pound a shirt and they've been going out steadily for like 15 pound, between sort of like 10 and 15 pound, depends on what platform they go on. Usually I'll let them go for a tenner if they go on uh, Vinted, because obviously the fees are not there and stuff. Um, and then some point in the night, uh, just goes to show we're getting on to Q4. A nice vintage Christmas tree sold. Uh, picked this up for a boot sale a few weeks ago. I paid a couple of quid for it. Um, it will be down in my uh, skew somewhere, but I don't know where you find the skew on the on the main site. Um, so I don't really. I mean, I post. I, I do all my um, listings and stuff on the main site, but I, I do most of it off of my phone. I just. Um, I think the pictures and stuff come out nicer when you do it on the desktop. But uh, yeah, so that's sold for twenty four ninety nine plus uh, six pound postage, um, and yeah, I think it owed me a couple of quid. But yeah, they're, they're the only the only orders that are going out. Those two, uh, so yeah, they're already over there. Um, I need to I keep forgetting. I need to buy like remember to get some um, like shrink wrap stuff because. The, uh, I think one of the main things that helped, well, I don't know if it helped sell um, the tree, but the box was just pretty much immaculate and I didn't want to tape the box up because um, it'll ruin it'll ruin the box. Um, and I didn't have a box big enough to fit it in and I couldn't be bothered to make a Franken box. So I went a bit uh, chavvy and got two black bags and put it in black bags and then taped it up. Uh, usually I've got shrink wrap to do that, but if I have got any, I don't know where it is, because obviously I don't use the shrink wrap very much, so I might have to order some. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I got rather funky breakfast today. So I've got a yogurt, Muller Corner, uh, Muller Light, chocolate biscuit, Diet Coke. Well balanced breakfast, purely because I can't be bothered to make anything. Um, so I'm gonna, eat through this do the labels uh, I've got a list tons today I don't think there's anything else that I'm gonna be doing today so obviously I'll put in the cleaning footage and stuff right let's get this mess all sorted out so I've got everything all pulled out at the moment what I want to do is I want to make this corner more accessible because with everything there it's a nightmare to get to um, so not quite sure what I'm gonna do there yet. Um, I need to sort this table out. I think I might, what I might do is I might put my spare tables, might either take them upstairs or put them outside or something. 
Um, and I, don't, I mean, I could take my <coughs> stock boxes upstairs, but um, I kind of like them being down here. So yeah, um, I'll get back to you once I've come up with some kind of plan. Right, there we go. I think that looks much better. Still chaos, but tidy chaos. I can get to that corner now, which is nice. I got rid of that table that was there. It just was unnecessary. So I went and dug out another tote box that was in the garden. So I've got all my stuff in tote boxes now. Um, coded them all. So on my skews, I'll start doing that. I've already started doing some of them down there. Um, <coughs> Yeah, then I got my cleaning stuff. That's quite funny. Yesterday I went and picked up a pressure washer because my one broken, second hand one. And then I won that on eBay. Um, brand spanking new. I won it for £43. And when I checked out the person's feedback, they had loads of bad feedback saying, oh, scammer, 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 scammer. So I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay until like they give me their address because they said they were local to me. <coughs> Turns out it was legitimate. I haven't tested it, so I don't know if it works or not. But... It's like a £280 pressure washer that I won for £43. So um, i got a feeling it's a reconditioned one. Um, but it all it, like all the accessories and stuff are brand new. But the reason I think it's reconditioned was because the box had been opened and resealed. And um, it had its uh, polystyrene insert at the bottom, but only bubble wrap on the top. But um, yeah, so right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up to the spare room and i'll show you the chaos in there and then organize all that yeah here's the chaos in here um i won't show you too much behind me because i've got all of uh, our laundry and stuff drying in here but i have to share this room with my wife um so obviously she's got stuff in here as well um i've got two other boxes down there with stocking which uh i might move to downstairs but yeah i think i need to condense some of these boxes because it's just chaos in here at the moment. So be back once it's done. Right, much better, more organized chaos. So all the big boxes all condensed, all the little boxes in a few big boxes and the stock that's obviously um, not in the tote boxes and then I'm gonna take the tote boxes downstairs. But yeah, that's this room a bit more tidy. And then uh, there's all, all the cleaning stuff done. Um, I go, blah, 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 blah. just can't talk. Uh, yeah, so um, I'm not going to bore you with listing stuff, uh, so I'm going to end the video here. So, why do I say so, 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 so much? Uh, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, follow, all that cool stuff, and I'll catch you tomorrow. See you later.